Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sandra Rizaldi and I wanna thank you very much for joining me. Today's 9-11, it's been 20 years. That morning, I decided that I wanted to take a marketing class and I loved that class, that was a lot of fun. When I was in that class, my neighbor turned over to me and said, hey, there's a little plane, a plane hit the World Trade Center. At the time I had, my mom was working at the Pentagon and she wasn't there that day. And when I got into my car, they said, it just felt like, like we were under attack. Now, why would I be talking about this right here, right now? Because we have become so not united in society. It has been heartbreaking to watch. While we had, sir, we had firefighters rushing in and police rushing in, they weren't coming out. That was when the nation stopped. The nation came together. We are in a pandemic and not to overshadow 9-11's importance, but it is time more than ever to stand united with everything we have. 9-11 taught me a really big lesson. 20 years ago is when I decided, and I was hardcore about saying that I was not going to stand down. If something like this should ever happen again, I was going to stand up and I was gonna be either a voice and I was going to participate no matter how, which way I was going to participate and trying to keep people okay. We have nurses against violence. We are against violence, all forms of violence. That includes hearing nurses say that if you did not get vaccinated, that you should die. That is unacceptable. And that is not united. Why I say this, especially right now, if you could take yourself back to when 9-11 was happening, do you remember how you felt at that time? If you're a nurse and a first responder, you have that feeling right now. You've had this feeling since the beginning of the pandemic. Our world is collapsed while others are watching. We are in a World War III right now with this pandemic. And this is our time to stand together and to get through this together because we need each other. Nurses, firefighters, everyone, police, military. I also wanna say a special thank you to our military for all the brave efforts that you have done with going overseas and fighting for our freedom, for our, our freedom of speech. For that, I would not be here today if I did not have the freedom. With ancestors that signed the Declaration of Independence, I will have a voice. Because my relatives signed the Declaration of Independence and I promise you, I will defend freedom of speech with all of my being. What I want to say, and I am absolutely adamant about saying, we have to stand together as a nation. We have to stand together as a healthcare family. We have to do what's right. We have to do what's just. Because we have had way more people die from COVID than what happened on 9-11. What happened on 9-11 was unforgivable. And we felt helpless and hopeless, but we all came together. What is that difference? And why is that not happening now? I tell you, fear, fear of the unknown. 
And I will say that I understand what fear is. I know what it feels like to feel abandoned, but you are strong. We're all so strong. Nurses, CNAs, we have our paramedics, we have our respiratory therapists out there. You guys are the lifeline of what's happening right now. And I want you to know you are not being unseen. You are brave. We love you. Those of you on the very, very front line facing this monster, you is what makes us so wonderful. Besides our sparkling personality. So I wanted to get on here, 9-11. 9-11 hit me hard 20 years ago. It's when I decided that I was going to become a nurse, that I was gonna fight hard to be where I am today. And here I am. Here I am, postdoctorate, psych nurse practitioner, ready to take it on. And I want you to know, if you ever need to talk, if you ever need to just, just cry, I'm here for you. Send me a message on Nurses Against Violence. I am here for you. I am Dr. Sandy Rizaldi and I am, I am here by your side. And I know all the other nurses in our group are absolutely by your side as well. And the CNAs that are out there, our LPNs, our RNs, everybody in our group, we stand by each other. And that's what I love about what we're doing with Nurses Against Violence. So I wanna thank you very much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And please keep everybody that has been lost in 9-11 and during this pandemic in your thoughts and prayers. And we will get through this, all of this together. Thank you.